I'm attorney Gloria Allred, and I'll be making a statement, and then each one of my clients will also be making a statement. After that, I'll be happy to answer any questions. They will not be answering any questions. And each one will introduce yourself, as I say. Spirit Airlines claims to be the leading ultra-low cost carrier for the leisure traveler. When my clients boarded an early morning flight on March 9, 2016 to Los Angeles, they were expecting a tranquil six-hour plane ride to their vacation destination. To their dismay, however, they were seated behind three female passengers who, Thanks to Spirit Airlines' decision to allow them to consume excessive amounts of alcohol, became highly intoxicated and emboldened to behave in a rowdy and a rambunctious way. During the flight, these passengers blared loud music from a Bluetooth speaker for hours, sang loudly, standing and dancing to the music. A female flight attendant continued to serve these passengers additional rounds of alcoholic beverages, despite these passengers' clearly intoxicated state and disruptive and rowdy behavior. Spirit Airlines failed to take meaningful action to monitor and or to control these passengers, and worse, continued to serve these passengers alcoholic beverages. The same flight attendant conversed with these passengers and encouraged their behavior by laughing with them and dancing to the music blaring from their speaker. When finally asked hours later to lower the volume of their music, the three female passengers did so for a few minutes, but then increased the volume of their music loudly while repeatedly yelling, quote, what are they going to do? End quote. A few minutes before the plane landed at LAX, the female flight attendant who had earlier encouraged these rowdy passengers, not our clients, returned and provided them with additional rounds of alcoholic beverages, despite these passengers' intoxicated state and aggressive behavior. She did not request that these passengers turn down their music or cease their disruptive and aggressive behavior. Spirit Airlines' failure to monitor or to control these three intoxicated female passengers emboldened these passengers to behave in an increasingly aggressive and rowdy manner with disregard for the rights and safety of other passengers. We allege that it was reasonably foreseeable that these three female intoxicated passengers would threaten, attack, and or assault another passenger. After landing at LAX, the three female passengers, fueled by alcohol furnished by Spirit Airlines and emboldened by Spirit Airlines indifference, began to yell racial remarks, such as, and I'm not going to use the four letter word, I'll just use the first letter, such as F white people. You don't like our music? What are these effing people going to do? And those are quotes. My clients were offended when they heard these racial remarks. Ms. Fonda Thomas, otherwise known as Danielle, politely informed them that their language was inappropriate in front of children. Unprovoked, one of the intoxicated female passengers stood up, turned around, and began to batter and to assault Ms. Fonda Thomas. Another one of the intoxicated passengers also began to attack Ms. Fonda Thomas. Ms. Diodato and Ms. Zampella became involved because they were trying to free their friend from the attack. And as a result, they were also assaulted and suffered physical injuries. It was not a mutual combat situation as some have described in prior reports. 
When my clients were escorted off the plane by law enforcement, they immediately reported what had happened to a Spirit Airlines representative. But that representative took no action to assist them. As a result of these events, we have filed a lawsuit against Spirit Airlines for their negligence and for the intentional infliction of emotional distress inflicted on my client. We filed this lawsuit this morning in Los Angeles County Superior Court. We are seeking general compensatory and punitive damages according to proof at trial. We believe that a very important legal principle is illustrated by what happened on this flight. An airline, which is a common carrier, owes its passengers the highest duty of care. While the airline may serve alcohol, we allege that they have a duty to cease serving it to passengers who appear by their behavior to be intoxicated. Further, an airline has a duty to train its personnel to monitor and control passengers who do become intoxicated during its flight. This duty arises because an airline has a duty to avoid harm to both the intoxicated passenger and to other passengers on whom harm may be inflicted as a result of the behavior of an intoxicated passenger. In short, an airline has a duty to protect all of its passengers and to get them safely to their destination. When that duty is breached, as we allege that it was in this case, it is foreseeable that one or more passengers may be harmed. We are proud of the courage of our clients who have come forward. They have been unfairly characterized and maligned in the media as a result of only part of this incident being viewed in this video that was broadcast. What caused the incident was never shown. Our clients were victims in the attack and were harmed as a result of too much alcohol being served to those who assaulted them. We are looking forward to litigating this case and having the entire truth told in a court of law. And now I would like to introduce Danielle, who was the first victim in this attack. My name is Danielle Fonda Thomas. On March 9th, I took Spirit Airlines Flight 141 from BWI to LAX along with my two friends for our much anticipated vacation, which soon turned into a nightmare before it even began. On that flight, we became victims to a very bad situation and negligence of the airline. It was the first time in my life that I felt unsafe on public transportation. Spirit Airlines failed to keep a safe traveling environment for me by, by enabling the women seated in front of me and my friends to become extremely intoxicated and by allowing them to be rowdy and disruptive for most of the flight. The flight attendants failed to take control of the situation before it got to the point where we were physically attacked, humiliated, and escorted off the plane as if we were criminals. March 9, 2016, two of my friends and I flew out of Baltimore BWI on Spirit Airlines Flight 141 to Los Angeles, LAX for vacation. I worked very hard and was looking for a relaxing and enjoyable time away with my friends. Unfortunately, flying with Spirit made it very difficult to do so. Spirit Airlines disregarded the safety of its passengers by continuing to serve alcoholic beverages to passengers who were clearly intoxicated. They allowed these women to do whatever they pleased on the flight. Their failure to act 
allow the situation to escalate to a point where someone got hurt. Spirit Airlines should have protected us from harm. It scares me to think of how vulnerable Spirit Airlines left me when I traveled on this airline. I fear for anyone who travels with this airline that obviously doesn't take their passenger safety seriously. My name is Taikisha Diodato. This vacation to Los Angeles was my graduation present to myself, as I had just received my degree in February. However, my plans were ruined by Spirit Airlines. I am upset that the Spirit Airlines failed to protect us, disregarded our safety, and instead continued to serve the women in front of us alcoholic beverages even though they were clearly intoxicated and behaving aggressively. Due to the events that took place on March 9th, 2016 on Spirit Airlines Flight 141, my friends and I were forced to book a different flight home on March 13th, 2016 with another airline because we no longer felt safe on Spirit Airlines. I did not want to fly back on Spirit Airlines, dreading that something else scary would happen. I feel embarrassed, scared, confined, and mortified by what happened. It was humiliating to be escorted off the plane by law enforcement when you were a victim of a vicious attack. We're gonna take some questions, but before we do, so this is a copy of the lawsuit that you filed 